My dad um, was very ill with depression and he was bipolar, so he always said he was going to leave us, we'd be better off without him. So I think that made me see God like that. I think I thought, you know what, if I get close to you, God, you're just going to leave. I didn't want the religious sort of life. I wanted to go out and party and be with my friends, which I did during that time. Met my um, first boyfriend, which was, became my husband a couple of years later. It was awful from the very start. The guy that I met just totally changed. So it was quite mentally abusive and um, I left within a year and a half. Went straight into a relationship with a guy who was younger than me and within nine months I ended up pregnant. I just felt God calling me. And I just remember one night getting into bed and I said, if God comes back tonight, I'm going to die, I'm going to go to hell. And I was so, so, I was crying and I was traumatised by it. And I met a lady, she went through different scriptures with me. And that night I gave myself, I gave my life to the Lord. And as things went on, um, we're st I was going to church and still in this relationship with this guy. He was a Christian, but he became quite abusive physically. So I um, then became pregnant and when she was five weeks old, I left him because of the abuse. Not knowing who I was, still in God, I just was new to the faith. I was searching for love from a man, from a guy. I didn't understand who God was as a father. I didn't um, understand his love. I was so insecure and so broken as a person. Then I met a guy and this guy wasn't a Christian and I totally turned my back on God stopped going to church. I became pregnant again to him and then suffered a miscarriage and was so traumatised by it. And after that, we, we split up, put my whole heart into um, looking after the children, but burying my feelings and burying, you know, thoughts about God and thoughts about myself because I didn't like myself very much. And I, I really loathed myself at that stage. The years went on and then um, through Facebook, I got um, in touch with the girl I used to work with who was a nurse and she was from similar background to me. I went to her house and we were drinking and um, we were just then talking about God and then the next morning we were talking about the same and she put a CD on with like a song, a worship song on and I just broke down and I said to her, do you know what? this is not the life that I want. I really want to get back on track with God. So like we had been drinking vodka and I just went into her kitchen. There was bottles sitting in the kitchen. I just poured it down the sink and I said, that's me done. I'm, I'm giving my life back to God. I went into a clothes shop in Newtonards one day and my friend Gina worked there. I says, um, oh, I'm looking for a church to go to and you know, just telling her my story, what had happened recently. And um, she says, well, I go to house church. You know, why don't you come? There's a meeting on tonight. As soon as I went into that environment I, um, that night, I never left. From there, I have just grown, just learned more about God, I've learned um, more about myself, how God loved me, um, just more about my identity and who I am in Christ. And just there's been so much change in who I am. I would have before seen my, tried to gain my value through relationships, probably with, um, with men. Now coming out the other side of it, I'm like, do you know what, God, you were there all the time. You protected us. She um, provided for us in ways that um, are unimaginable. I know that God will never leave me. He will never forsake me. He's not going any, you know, he never has. It showed me who God truly is as a father and that, you know what, I can trust him through any circumstances. He's going to be there and he's going to love me. And in the, the times where I'm feeling lonely, He's going to be the one that listens and speaks to me.